Hello and welcome to the Shooting Style Learning Center. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about radical expression. A radical expression is an expression containing squared rules. So in order to do a radical expression, you got to know your perfect square. I would say from at least from 1 to 20. So when I talk about perfect square, I'm talking about um, something like this. Square. Uh, something like this. For each ten, the square root, the square root for one, which is one times one, which is one, two, two times two is four. The square root of three is is nine. The square root of four is sixteen. The square root for five is twenty-five. The square root for six is thirty-six. The square root for 7 is 49. The square root for 8 is 64. 64. The square root for 9 is 81. The square root for 100, I mean, the square root for 10 is 100. The square root for 11 is 121. The square root for 12 is 144. The square root for 13 is 169. The square root for 14 is 196. The square root for 15 is 225. The square root for 16 is 256. The square root for 17 is 288. The square root for 19 is 2 the square root for 17 is 288 the square root for 19 is 324 the square root for i mean 18 the square root for 18 is 324 the square root for 19 is 361 and the square root for 20 is 400 so in order to do um square root of uh, upper uh radical operation you gotta know your square root for at least from one to twenty so let's go into the problem so let us do this problem so we have um eighteen unknown the radical sign so why two normal can we multiply to give an eighteen why two normal can we multiply to give an eighteen so we have um, 2 times 9, 2 times 9, which gives us 18. So we will say 9 times 2. So here, 9 times 2 is 18. And then 9 can still be simplified. What two number can go into 9? 3. 3. 3 times 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. So we will say 3, which is 9, and then 2. So this is the answer. So let's move to the next problem. So what two number can we multiply to get 50? We have 25. 25 times 2, which is 50. 25 times 2. 25 times 2, but 25 can still be simplified. We can still find a radical for 25. Radical for 25, which is 5. Which is 5. 5 times 2. Don't forget the 2 here. So this is the answer. Let, let's move to the third one. 128. 128. What's the two number we can multiply? Uh, to get 128 let's see if we can multiply 64 by 2 makes it something 64 times 2 2 times 4 8 2 times 6 is 12 so 64 times 2 can give us 128 64 and then 2 
but 64 can still be reduced. What two number we can multiply to give us 64? What two number? Let's try 8. 8 times 8. Yep. Yeah. 8 times 8 give us 64. Yep. Yeah. The perfect square for 64 is 8. And then we'll bring our 2 here. So there's the answer for this. And we have 94. We have 94. What two number multiply together that can give us 94? Or what, what's the perfect square of 94? Um, let's try 14. Let's try 49 by 2. So 2 times 9 is 18. Create 8. Create 1. 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. Yep. We got it. 49 and then 2. So 49 times 2 will give us the perfect square of 98, which is 49 times 2, which is 98. And then, but 49 can still be, 49 still have a perfect square. What is the perfect square of 49? A perfect square for 49 is 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. Uh, 7. And then the 2. This is the answer. So now this section is for square. So let's try a cube, a cube unit. So let's solve the cube. So I, I, will, I, will, I will advise that you know your cube, your cube is square from at least from one to 10. We're talking about cube, what do I mean? I talk about number like this, which is three times three. Give it nine. Um, let's just say four cube, which is four times four times four. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. So if you talk about cube, what do you mean? Cube is number like this: three, three cube, which is three times three times three. 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 3, which gives 18. 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 3, 18. Or probably we have uh, 4 cube, which is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 4 times 4, 16. 16. 16 times 4 is 64. We have cube for five, five cube, which is five times five times five. Five times five, 25. 25 times five, five times five, 25. Five, two, five times two, 10 plus two, 12, 125. So six, what's a cube of six? So we have six times six times six. Six times six, 36. Six times six, 36. 36 times six. Six times six, 36. Six, three. Three times six, 18. 18 plus three, 21. Two sixteen. So the cube of seven, seven times seven times seven, seven times seven, forty nine, forty nine times seven, mm, forty nine times seven, forty nine. 
times seven. For the nine times seven will give us three for the three. So, so let's do this problem. So what's the cube root of 16? The cube root of 16, which is um, three times eight. The cube root of 16, which is eight, two times eight, two times eight, which gives you 16. So we have eight here, three, and then we have three, we have two. But eight, 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 eight can still be reduced. So what's the key root of eight? We have two, two and two, because two times two, Give you four and four times two give you eight. That's why we have this. So let's try another problem. Um, just in case we have a cube root of fifty-four. So what number you can multiply to give you fifty-four? We have we have. 54 we have 27 27 times 2 the trial 27 times 2 27 times 2 14 4 1 5 yep 27 times 2 27 and then the quick cube root of 2 so 27 27 can be Still have 27, and we can find the root of 27. The root of 27, which is um, what two number you can multiply to give you 27. Three, three, and two. So let's try another problem just in case we have the cube root of. Um, let's try a large number this way. We have 192. Key root of 192. Um, what two number we can multiply to get 192? 60. Let's try 64 times 3. 3 and 4 is 12. 3 down 4 is 12, 1, 3 down 6, 18, 19. Yep, we have a key root of 64. Then the key root of 3. Which is 4. Key root of three and two. So there's the answer. So thank you for watching. If you have any question, put your question in the comment section. We'll be very happy to reply you. And then whatever topic that's giving you a hard time in math, just comment in the comment section below and we're going to make a video for that topic. So thank you for watching once again. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed and also smash the like button if this video is helpful to, helpful to you and also you can share it with your friends feel free to share the video or uh, if you're solving and you reach certain part that you guys talk you can you can basically pause the video and then go through the skip go through the steps so thank you for watching once again